Hi, so I'm here to talk about tips for writing the romantic comedy as part of uh, the Chicklet and Prosecco's Fringe Festival. Super excited. Uh, my name is Kathy Strobos, and um, I have started writing these tips. Basically, I was researching how to, I'm writing a romantic comedy. And so as, as, as I was researching tips on how to write comedy, I started writing blog posts on the tips that I found. So this is mostly a compilation of my blog posts. So the first thing is, what is the set piece? And the set piece is basically what you talk about after you've read the book um, or seen the movie. It's that scene that you talk about. Um, and that's the definition from writing the romantic comedy by Billy Murnett, which I highly recommend. Um, even though it's mostly about film, I think it's also very helpful about books. And his long version definition is, a set piece is an extended scene or sequence that exploits the setting or world of the movie to build from one joke or thrill to a series of the same, climaxing in a satisfyingly big payoff topper. So here are my tips. Oh, there's Anita. OK, I can see some comments. <laughs> I was like, where do you see the comments on this? All right, so what he says about the set piece is that it's inspired collision between character and circumstance. Um, so we're going to focus on that phrase, basically. And I have my little drawing because, you know, I've been basically a kindergarten teacher for this past uh, six months. So, um, well, not kindergarten, third grade. But, um, but the only thing I want to add to that is that usually that set piece also forces an emotional turning point. I think that adds um, more oomph to the set piece. But let's turn to character. So the first thing I want to say is define your character clearly. I think that's one of the best writing tips I found is that if you've defined your character Clearly, oops, it went off for a minute. If you define your character clearly, then um, the comedy follows. So if you think of Becky B Bloomwood in the Shopaholic, Sophie Kinsella's Shopaholic series, you know that she's a shopaholic. That is a very clearly defined character. If she passes a sale on scarves, you know what she's going to do. Um, you know that she can't pass by that sale. So the readers know what to expect, and that leads to the tension. Or if you think of Monica and Friends and her neat freak personality, you can feel the tension when she enters a very messy room and how she's trying to restrain herself from cleaning that up and probably won't be able to restrain herself. So another book that I recommend is Steve Kaplan's The Comic Hero's Journey. And he says, follow your character and see what your character would do. Um, and so here are some thoughts on the comic character. I don't know if you can really see them, but uh, basically, the comic character is a non-hero. What Steve Kaplan says is, your person does not want to go on hero's journey. He wants to stay in his normal world, or she. Um, so that person is incomplete flawed. But this is all helpful for the character arc of your comic hero. Um, I think they have to be likable, so that, you know, because I don't want to read a whole book about someone who's unlikable, or at least empathetic. Usually they have a want that is the opposite of what they need. They're complex. They're obsessed with something, which is the want. So if you think of, again, Becky Bloomwood and Shopaholic, she's obsessed with shopping. Um, she's funny, and she's trying very hard to obtain what she wants. I think that leads to you know, finding them empathetic. So I think it's probably backwards. But anyway, that was that slide. The other thing that helps with comedy is to let your character make bad decisions. So I have a very hard time with this when I'm writing. But comedy loves bad decisions. Um, and your character may be trying to make the right decision, but maybe they don't have enough information, or your character may just make a bad decision. So again, if you think of Becky Bloomwood, like I got extremely tense during Shopaholic when she just kept shopping and running up her bills. And I was like, just stop, stop shopping already. All right. So again, the conflict comes from the character. What does your character want? But why can't they get it? And this also underscores the character arc, as I said before. And remember also that this collision between character and circumstance lets your character show her character and grow, grow from the mistakes that she makes if she does make bad decisions. Um, and then let's turn to circumstance now. So what Billy Murnett's advice is, is to consciously comb your story for potential set piece situations. Explore the world that you've created and see what's there to tap into. So what I recommend doing is writing down all the themes of your book on paper. If you've got, you know, like the dancing pineapples in the last one, 
and put that all onto a sheet of paper and then see what crazy combinations you can come up with for that funny set piece. And another comedy writing course um, that I took, thank you, Anita, I appreciate that, said, um, try to think of in-box and out-of-box combinations. I don't think you can really see this. Here you have a very nice meal, then try and think of the out-of-box combinations. Like, what if, you know, you had a bunch of crazy elves show up, or you had the Dalai Lama show up, or whatever you can think of that's out-of-box for that dinner party. Your next-door neighbor whom you hate shows up. Um, so try and think of all those combinations, and from there, you know, you may brainstorm some funny idea. So the other thing that I want to point out is there's also advice from how to write a romantic comedy. Let me see if this little prop works. Here we go. Okay, how to write a romantic comedy by Jane Levering and Rhoda Baxter. Um, and so what they say is the humor is the gap between what you expect and what happens. So one thing to do is to set it up for one expectation and then subvert it, or use the rule of three, which is repeat the same location potentially or event three times and then the last time add a twist. Um, so add a twist a third time. So that's another piece of advice. And then another piece of advice is to brainstorm what can go wrong. <clears throat> So as a writing guru, I don't know if he's a writing guru in the UK, but in the US for some years, he has a writing craft book uh, called Scene and Structure, which is not specifically about comedy, but just about writing. And he says, your protagonist must leave in worse shape than when he went in, which is really helpful for comedy, basically. Um, when you start to say like, I just have to make this person have a worse time. So basically you should brainstorm what can go wrong in this scene. And so if you think of um, like a fish called Wanda, Wanda shows up at John Cleese's house to get her necklace back. And what goes wrong? Like her boyfriend, oh good, well, her boyfriend Kevin Klein follows her and shows up in the room and he's watching her and warning her that she should not try to seduce John Cleese, which was probably her plan to seduce John Cleese. Then what else goes wrong? Like his wife shows back up and then his daughter shows up and then Kevin Klein gets found and he's like wandering around. So he tries to pretend that he's investigating in the neighborhood and the wife actually knows, you know, is familiar with investigations and doesn't believe him. So as you can see, it just piles on and gets worse and worse and worse. So I, uh, so that's one example of how you can make everything go wrong. Um, another thing, like if I just saw the movie traveling, uh, the movie out of towners. So that's just a travel thing where everything goes wrong. And it's really quite, when you think about it, like just if you were to brainstorm in the comments, like what could go wrong on a travel trip? You know, your flight gets diverted to a different place. You miss the train to the place that you want to go. You rent a car. You can't figure out the controls of the car. You get lost in the navigation system and then they get mugs. They have no money. I mean, it just gets worse and worse and worse. But also every time they react to what gets, what has gone wrong, you see their character developing or building. Um, and so I think that that actually, again, shows you how to make everything go worse, but also build your character arc. Or let's say like what could go wrong at a dinner party. Um, and then you think of like Bridget Jones Blue Soup, which I think was an incredibly great set, comedy set piece scene where the soup is blue and then um, Mr. Well, the Darcy guy gets to show his character, right? Um, by fixing it and making eggs. So. So just think of the various scenes and how they can go wrong. And then I think that you really wanna add the emotional turning point. So in A Fish Called Wanda, Wanda is realizing that she likes John Cleese in all these um, basically set piece scenes. And another movie that I highly recommend for the comedy set piece scenes is Always Be My Maybe. And in that, they go to a dinner with their dates, the couple that at the moment is not together. So they go with their respective boyfriend and girlfriend. And the set piece kind of shows how the two people, their current boyfriend and girlfriend are wrong for each other. And they end up going home with each other instead. So again, I think that there's that emotional turning point that the set piece um, helps contribute to. And I guess the final piece of advice is to be honest, like honestly emotional, vulnerable, true to life, because I think the comedy comes from that. And the comedy comes from the readers recognizing the truth of the scene. So I hope this gives you some ideas. And uh, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments and I can 
look back through this later. Um, but I was hoping it didn't speak too fast as a New Yorker. So, <laughs> um, but so most of this con most of this material is on my blog, so you can read it there, which may be easier to understand than, you know, my very fast New York accent. So thank you.